Autodesk Vault 2013 introduces the concept of project life cycles. Now users are able to track the status of and access to entire projects, not just individual files. Vault 2013 adds life cycle schemes to the folder category type, which offers designers greater control and security over their file release processes. As an example, we'll create a new folder using this category. We can see that it is assigned a work in progress state. In addition, we'll create a subfolder using a different category and different lifecycle scheme. Documents added to or linked to the folders are now included in the project lifecycle state-based security and transition rules. It's easy to change the state of the folders directly from the Vault toolbar. Changing the folder state to released is intended to signify completion of the project. Project lifecycle rules, however, can be configured so that any related documentation meets the criteria of being complete. Once all the content of the project folder is complete and transitioned to a released state, the folder may now also be released. A simple padlock icon appears, making it easy to see which project folders are complete and locked and which are still in progress. Project lifecycles complement but do not replace existing file-based security overrides meaning that users can choose to manage individual file states independently of project folders or can have the folder state manage access to linked or contained files. Adding administrator access to the security overrides provides a simple, flexible approach to controlling file access over the life of the project, helping to ensure that the right users have access to the right files at the right time.